After beating the Golden State Warriors, then the Brooklyn Nets on back-to-back -back nights and improving to 11-0, the Cleveland Cavaliers look unstoppable. Evidently hungry for revenge after getting bounced in five games to the eventual champions in the Boston Celtics last spring, the Cavs scored 83 first half points against the Warriors, the most points in a half by a team this season. Of the 13 teams to ever begin a season with at least 10 straight wins, 10 of them have reached at least the conference final, and three became NBA champions. Nevertheless, Cleveland owns the best start to a campaign over the past 10 seasons, driven by their league best offensive rating in forced by new head coach and former Warriors assistant, Kenny Atkinson. Right quick, almost 80% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already, splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and follow at DFlowHoops on Instagram and Twitter for a follow back. Doubters are calling this Cavaliers team the 2015 Hawks and the 2021 Jazz in the sense that this hot start is a fluke that won't translate to the playoffs. But Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, and the evolved Evan Mobley give this team reliable star power at the head of the snake around a stacked roster. With Mobley along with 2022 All-Star Jared Allen, Cleveland has two all-defensive caliber bigs who are athletic finishers that are pests in the dunker spot, which helps them complete plays at will in the flow of the offense. With Mitchell and Garland, they have two elite playmakers who can break down the defense at a moment's notice, as well as of course score and pass at an elite level. With Isaac Okoro, they've got a very solid 3 and D wing, and that doesn't even cover the bench, which we'll get to. One of three teams next to the Celtics and Warriors with both a top six offensive and defensive rating, the Cavaliers have a different leader in every major stat category with Donovan Mitchell leading the way in scoring, Jarrett Allen number one in board getting, Darius Garland dishing out the highest average of assists, Evan Mobley swatting the highest average of blocks, and backup combo guard Ty Jerome snatching the highest average of steals. The ability of Garland, Mitchell, and current starter Okoro to all put pressure on the defense at the point of attack is a big part of what makes this Cavaliers team so dangerous to handle offensively. The shooting guard tandem off the bench of Sam Merrill and Karis LeVert is dynamic. While he's only averaging a dime and a half per game, Merrill being second in the NBA in assist to turnover ratio speaks to how sound of an option he is. Nine-year veteran in LeVert has posted the highest percentages by a wide margin in his career. Karis's 12-point per game average have come on 58% shooting from the field and 47% shooting from distance. Distance. The depth of this Cleveland Cavaliers team really shows itself when Kenny Atkinson then has the aforementioned steals leader in Ty Jerome, who he plays slightly less than those two in Marilyn Lavert. The former Golden State Warrior in Jerome is shooting an unbelievable team high from three-point range of 58% and is averaging double-figure scoring in 3.3 dimes in merely 16.1 minutes per game. Forwards Dean Wade and George Niang have filled their roles solidly, with Wade having started seven games and Niang shooting a career-high 47.5% from the field. Evan Mobley ranks 7th in the association in blocks per game, and the USC product's 4th year as a pro has seen him have a breakout year through albeit just 13% of the 82 game grind. At 18.4, 1.8, and 1.1, Evan's currently averaging his highest point, block, and steal numbers of his career. Right now, simply no one can stop Mobley. With his improved handle and footwork combined with his overwhelming size, He's been the ultimate pressure reliever up front for this Cleveland offense. This is the smoothest Mobley's game has ever looked, which is deadly given his mechanics were waiting to catch up to his 6'11 frame with a 7'4 wingspan. Especially in the small ball era, there simply aren't that many players at his position or up front in general that can physically match Mobley, given you also have to factor in both how athletic he is and the skill he's always had to maneuver down low. Darius Garland is having his most efficient season by far. Not only is Garland making the highest percentage of his career from the field, from three-point range, and from the foul line by a wide margin, but DG the PG is shooting the highest he ever has from all of two-point range, 0 to 3 feet, 3 to 10 feet, and from 10 to 16 feet. Garland has beautifully orchestrated the offense this season and done a great job of picking his spots. Darius has shown off an intriguing intelligence to know when to let it fly from distance, when to find an open teammate, and when to pull up from the mid-range or attack the basket. With splices of several all-time great point guards equipped in his repertoire, Garland's able to dominate offensively in a variety of areas. 
Darius has shooting skill and range similar to Stephen Curry, mid-range prowess similar to Chris Paul, and passing prominence similar to Rajon Rondo. After they moved to 9-0 with a win over the New Orleans Pelicans, Donovan Mitchell spoke on how the Cavs are executing in all types of fashions, saying, We've demonstrated our versatility through a mix of blowouts, close games, and comebacks. We're building great habits, and that's what excites me about our play. The key for us is to remain consistent and keep this momentum going. Fittingly, the Cavs would directly after that statement continue to keep that exact momentum going. They would dominate the Golden State Warriors in an utter demolition before getting down by as many as 14 to the Brooklyn Nets and in the snap of a finger overcome the deficit with a flurry. When they get down in a game, it feels like a small deficit. When they have a small advantage, it feels like a massive one. That's just how electric yet stable this Kenny Atkinson coach system feels. In the midst of winning in versatile fashion, the Cleveland Cavaliers are also making history. The Cavs are the first team in NBA history to score at least 105 points in every one of its first 11 games and win every one of them. Cleveland's now the 12th ever NBA team to start a season 11-0, and with this, they're tied for their fifth longest single season win streak in franchise history. That last stat says a lot given how many years they had LeBron James. Going back to what the Cavaliers did to one of the NBA's top seeds in the Golden State Warriors, and here's what was so impressive about that victory. It's not that they held a 41 point advantage at halftime. It's not that they scored the most points in a half by any team this season. It's not that they scored the sixth most amount of points by a team in a game this season, tying what they did on opening night against the Raptors. What was most impressive about their stunning dub over the dubs was that they did all of that with their best player in Donovan Mitchell having an off night offensively. D. Mitch was still himself defensively and didn't let his offensive woes bring the team down by any stretch, but the fact that Spida posted merely 12 points on 4 for 13 shooting from the field, yet Cleveland still beat what was the hottest team in the league other than themselves at the time, is actually insane. So while they have the star power required to win in the playoffs, again, especially with Mobley's progression as we talked about, this is truly a team 1 through 10 that's deadly. Jerome, Levert, Niang, Merrill, and Wade gave you 43 off the bench against the Dubs, and all five starters posted at least 12 points to make up for Mitchell's off night. Let me know down below the most impressive part about the Cavs. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.